Hello guys. So today here we have a DPC-18 brand new display, which came uh, with uh, basically a speed limit set to 25 uh, kilometers an hour. And unfortunately, uh, through the display settings, it cannot be changed. Uh, so today we're going to be using best tool um, for the people who doesn't know the best tool is basically the diagnostics and uh, firmware updating tool uh, for Bafang products. So it works with URT and Canvas systems. Um, my advice is don't put too much hopes on it for URT because it, it's very basically to, it's not that good. With Canvas, it does a good job. It uh, can do um, firmware updates, clear the codes, and basically tune your motor. And especially if you have M-series mid drives, uh, you will need this tool uh, basically for calibrating the motor and setting the position of the torque sensor. So today we're gonna be trying to basically update the settings uh, through the best tool. Um, also provided by Bafang. This tool is usually used by dealers. Um, so yeah, it's a good stuff if you know what you're doing. So the first things first, um, the display has not, doesn't have to be powered uh, by the controller or by the basically external power supply. The, the voltage that the best tool supplies from the PC is more than enough. So first things first, we need to activate the PC mode on the display. So for this, we're just going to hold the power button for a few seconds. And this beep means it's connected. So now what we need to do, we need to go into tools, press HMI. HMI stands for the display. <clears throat> and basically in here, we need to press read. And as usual, it gives you some warnings uh, because in case you didn't connect it properly, the display might turn off. So we press read, straight away we get DPC-18, it comes up, says straight away, URT protocol, and now you have wheel size, and you can see in here we have the speed limit, 25 kilometers an hour, and basically that's it. Um, total mass done zero, because, well, as I said, it's a new display. So in here, as you can see, we have an option to change. So let's see, what's the biggest we can do? The biggest one is 60 kilometers an hour, okay? So let's try to do that. It says, right, successful, speed limit degrees above, please adjust speed limits when prescribed by the law. Yeah, just basically the normal warnings. So as you can see, with this tool, you can select time zones, set single mileage, change the total mileage, um, remove maintenance warnings, just basically standard dealer stuff. And basically, if we look at the display, it comes up as connected. Okay, right, okay. So basically now uh, we're gonna check if the display um, has the option uh, of the 60 kilometers per hour once it's powered on in a normal mode. And for this, we just need to switch off the display and switch it back on. Right, as you can see, the display is powering on. It says 08, whole sensors failed. Yeah, that's true because it's now connected to a controller because it needs a full power to supply basically. So let's basically try to dig into the settings and see if it's the speed has been changed so basically we here have the display settings let's tap on the display settings and uh, if we look at the speed limit it says 37 miles per hour so basically before it was 15 miles an hour 16 miles now technically in uk it's 15.5 but you can only get 16. so yeah and um, as you can see, basically the upgrade worked. So don't mind the error faults because the controller is not even connected to the motor. But yeah, that's how you do with the DPC-18 display. That's how you increase your speed limits. But like I said, before doing this, um, think about the local areas, about the law where you're living and don't break the law.